Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the most inspiring and intriguing stories from the world of basketball. Today we have a special story for you, one that spans generations of greatness and showcases the enduring impact of leadership and friendship. Only a day ago, USA Basketball celebrated its 50th anniversary. The room was crowded with legends, renowned coaches, and the current Team USA roster for the Paris Olympics. On this monumental occasion, the former POTUS Barack Obama left the acclaimed 2024 roster with some powerful words, you all better win, he told Stephen Curry, LeBron James, and the others present. Even though seven years have passed since his presidency, their respect and admiration for Obama haven't changed one bit. His illuminating speech seemed to have the appropriate effect on Team USA. In their first exhibition game, they sought revenge on Canada for the 2023 FIBA World Cup upset. They did it with the celebrated man in the Las Vegas arena. After securing the win, reporters wanted to know how the stars felt in the presence of Barack Obama. LeBron James spared no kind words for his friend. LeBron James says it's always a treat. You get to talk to one of the greatest people this world has ever seen, in my opinion. I think his vision, his mindset, and his words are always resonating in more ways than one. To be able to sit down with a former president, a friend of mine, I really call him a dear friend. It's pretty awesome. Unlike his famous teammate, Stephen Curry didn't hesitate to admit he was starstruck by the great man who he still regards as his president, Stephen Curry says. Then, to have President Obama come, he's great with the microphone, really inspiring with his words. It was cool to set us off into this journey this summer with celebrating the 50 years of USAB and what we're trying to do this summer. I got goosebumps while he was talking, watching you know all those in the room and it makes you feel good about who you represent. As we speak about their close bond, let's roll back the calendar to one instance when the former POTUS saved Steph from a major fiasco. Curry and Obama have met on several occasions. After every championship that GSW won, the duo would exchange thoughts which ultimately led to a good bond between the two. They've also been spotted multiple times just hanging out at the golf course or even simply having dinner. However, there was this one dicey instance when the basketball icon nearly put it all at risk when he wasn't careful with his words during the Winging It podcast with Vince Carter in 2018. Stephen Curry says, I don't think so. Curry denied the USA's 1969 moon landing feat. I don't think so, the Splash Brothers straightaway said. He then tried to calm the tide caused by his words by stating, Sorry, I don't want to start any conspiracies, but once he said it, he couldn't take it back. As a strong patriot, the 44th president of the United States of America wasn't pleased with Curry's statement. He wrote him an email urging him to rectify the matter. You've got to do something about this Obama requested in the email, as Steph once narrated to Rolling Stone. As a response, the warrior hosted an Instagram Live with former astronaut Scott Kelly and even released a Curry sneaker variant that paid homage to the 1969 feat. The sneaker was adorned with craters that represent those on the moon and the flag of America. It was a one-of-one -one release that was eventually sold to charity. From that point on, Curry learned his lesson. And he has the former POTUS Barack Obama to thank for it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories from the world of basketball.